This for Gemini versus Sword. This for Gemini versus Sword, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Let's see what's coming in for this relationship right now. I'm getting Gemini and Taurus are both wanting clarity and both wanting answers right now. So let's see what's coming in. So there's a lot of passion in this relationship. Even for those of y'all that are separated currently at the moment, because I'm getting some of y'all might not be together at the moment. Let's see what else is coming in right now. We got make the effort and let go of control issues. So in order for this relationship to be successful between Gemini and Taurus, you both are going to have to let go of control issues. If it's not both of you, then somebody in this connection definitely has it. Hey, Wendy, what's going on, baby? I appreciate every single one of y'all. There could be a Pisces third party. What else is coming in? So somebody does have family issues. Somebody's holding resentment towards their mother or their father. I don't know if this is you, Gemini, or you, Taurus, but this is affecting the relationship. Somebody's scared to be in love. Somebody's scared to be committed. We have give your relationship a chance. This might be you, Gemini. This might be Taurus. But this could be what's affecting the relationship. If y'all can make it through this point, I am seeing engagement in the future. Your love life will ascend to a higher level of commitment once y'all can get through y'all differences. What else is coming in for this relationship right now? So we got to express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. And then we have there's a lot of attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So some of y'all might end up separating because you feel like the spark is just gone. But for those of you where the spark is gone and you're wanting to bring the spark back, here's that confirmation for you. Yes, y'all are soulmates. And y'all are the first verses to get that card today. So that is official that Gemini and Taurus are definitely soulmates if this is really what you're both wanting. What else is coming in for Gemini and Taurus right now? I appreciate every single one of y'all. What else is coming in for Gemini versus Taurus right now? We got this could be the one. So both of you also needed that confirmation if you were both the one for each other. There's that confirmation that you've been asking for. This is a past life connection. So yes, y'all were lovers in your past life. For those of you that are at a separation or at odds right now, it is time to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Tell each other the truth. Tell each other how you're feeling. No more holding back, Gemini. No more holding back, Taurus. What's the final message for this relationship right now? I appreciate y'all. This is the final message. I will see y'all in the morning or either late tonight for the late night special or the morning special. This is the final message. I appreciate y'all. So we got you deserve love. So this is the thing. Both of you are so scared of the thought of love, maybe because of past experiences, but we are forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from your past, you experience more love in your present moment. So for those of you that are wanting more love right now, that's going to be the big thing. For Gemini and Taurus, if y'all are wanting to allow love into the relationship, then y'all have to let the past go. What's the final message for this relationship? There's a lot of chemistry in this. And I am seeing a reconciliation for those of y'all that are separated. But y'all got to stop taking the connection so serious. Bring back the fun. Bring back what made y'all fall in love in the first place. Get to know each other more. You know, deepen that bond. I appreciate every single Gemini and Taurus. Thank you.